Okay, the first thing you want to do is you want to go to the App Store on your iPhone. You want to search on Mixed Reality. And Reality Mixer, this one right here is the one you want to install. I have it installed already on my iPhone. Uh, if you don't have it installed on your iPhone, just install it. And that's all you need to do. All right, the next step is you need to go to the Oculus website, and this is the exact link you're going to use. I will also put this in the description of the video. And so you're going to come into here. The first time you come in, you're going to need to log in either using your Facebook credentials or your Oculus username, whichever it is. And then once you have uh, come in here, there will be a little thing down here at the bottom that says save to VR. You'll just click on that. And what that's going to do is the next time your Quest 2 is on, it will download this program to your Quest 2 headset. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is I've got my Quest 2 headset on. I've drawn my Guardian so that part of it comes almost up to where my iPhone is. Not quite through it, but up to where the iPhone is. And the first thing I am going to do is I am going to open up Mixed Reality Capture on my Quest 2 headset. And this is going to tell me what the IP address of my Quest 2 is. And at this point, it's also telling me that my iPhone and the Quest 2 are not connected. So I'm going to leave my headset on, but I'm just going to lift it up a little bit so I can see under it. I'm going to come over here to my iPhone. And I am going to start up the Reality Mixer app on here. Now since I'm going to want to record this session, I'm going to swipe down from the top and I'm going to start a screen recording. Then I'm going to swipe up from the bottom. Now we're going to start the calibration. Now at the top line there, that's where you're going to put the IP address that you just saw from within your Quest 2 headset and you are going to click on connect. Now you're going to put your right controller right over the camera of your iPhone and click the, the trigger. And you should hear that little tone. Now I'm going to step back to where I'm going to want to do the gameplay. And I'm going to stand still and I'm going to click the trigger of my right controller again. Then I'm going to come back to my iPhone. I'm going to click OK. And now there's a little blue circle. I'm going to expand it a little bit. But I'm going to move this around so that the circle lines up with my controller just like that. Then I'm going to click on Next. And then I'm going to uh, send this to the headset. So now the calibration has been saved to my headset. So the next part is I'm going to come back into here. I'm going to click both the menu buttons on both controllers so that I can quit the mixed reality capture. And now I'm going to start up Beat Saber. So I'm going to go to my app library and I'm going to open up Beat Saber. Now before we start our mixed reality session, I am going to want to position Beat Saber where I want it to be. And so the camera is right in front of me, so I want my play area to be in this direction here. And so it looks like that's pretty much where it is, except for the feet 
are way back here. I need to move the feet up to where I'm standing because this is where I want to stand. So I'm going to go to settings and then settings again. And that's going to be the Z offset. So I'm going to increase that until the steps are here. And maybe I want it a little bit over to the right a little bit more. So I'm going to increase my X until I'm able to step where I want to be. And I want to make sure that the camera is directly behind me. So I'm going to double check that, and it is. And so it's important that you click OK before you start the mixed media session. So I'm going to click OK. Now I'm going to come back to my iPhone. And I am going to start the mixed reality. And then I'm going to click on connect. And now I'm going to go play my games.